Hi guys, Lou Beltran here, the IT Veteran, and in today's video, ituturo ko sa inyo paano gumawa ng isang straight through and crossover cable. Now, knowing these two types of cables is one of the most important topics sa uh, computer networking because um, cables really is what interconnects all of our devices together. Okay? It what's, it's what makes the, the world okay, have an internet. Okay? Kasi majority ng topics sa uh, computer networking, ang, ang majority na pinag-uusapan is routers, switches, uh, firewalls, okay, security. Pero really, the most unsung hero sa isang computer network and basically the internet itself and com computer networking in majority is the cables that connect all of our devices together. Okay? Kasi kung walang cables, wala tayong computer networking. Okay? So right now, we're here at the stock room ng aking uh, IT department. Um, it's, uh, this is just a room uh, uh, for, uh, one of my IT projects. It's a hotel that I, I'm helping design. Okay. I'm, uh, actually designing the solution for it. Um, I'm in charge of the IT solution in terms of, uh, Wi-Fi, telephony, uh, computer network, um, structured cabling, CCTV, and, uh, the computers itself. Basically, the whole IT shebang. Okay. Yung IT, whole IT solution. So stay tuned and I'm going to be teaching you now how to do straight and crossover cable. Okay, so magkakuha na tayo. Uh, gagawa tayo ng isang straight through and crossover cable. So gawin nating lamesa itong ating mga kahon ng computer networking equipment. So uh, let me just position lang yung camera natin. Uh, this is uh, really a fly-by-wire actually. Okay, so, um, baka hindi ko na to i-edit. Okay, so I'm not really into um, yung uh, ganda ng video itself but more into yung kung ano yung maituturo ko sa inyo. Okay, so first things first na kailangan yung malaman whenever we're trying to create uh, a straight through and crossover cable is yung type ng cable na gagamitin. Okay? Now, we have two types of uh, commonly used cables sa computer networking. Um, we have a CAT5 and a CAT6 cable. Okay? CAT5, ito. Okay? This is a CAT5 cable. So, tanggalin ko muna yung CAT6. This CAT5 cable, okay? How do you know if it's a CAT5 cable? May kita nyo doon sa kanyang uh, labeling. Okay, so, medyo ayusin lang natin ating zoom. Okay, so, may kita nyo dyan. Uh, this is a Panduit. Okay. Uh, yan, may kita nyo Category 5E cable. Okay. Then, meron tayong tinatawag din na wire gauge. Okay, so, hanapin natin yung wire gauge natin. Uh, let's see. Okay, may kita nyo. This is a 24... Uh, American wire gauge size cable. Okay? Wire gauge is basically yung yung gano'ng kakapal yung copper wire sa loob ng ating uh, CAT5E. Okay? So, this is a CAT5 cable. So, subukan natin siyang balatan para makita nyo yung laman ng ating CAT5. Okay? So, we're gonna, we're using a cable stripper. Okay? So, you see, you have seen this in one of my uh, videos. So, ang gagawin natin, balatan natin. Okay. And, hilain natin to. Okay. So, this is our CAT5E cable. Okay. Now, hiwalay natin ang ating uh, pairs. So, sa, sa loob ng isang... Uh, uh, Unshielded twisted. Ang tawag dito sa cable na ito is basically un unshielded twisted pair. Okay? Unshielded kasi wala siyang um, aluminum foil. May mga types ng cables tayo na may aluminum foil sa loob ng copper uh, coating nito. Okay? This is, that is to prevent uh, um, electromagnetic interference. Okay? But that's for another video. So, ba, so sa ngayon, ito yung parts ng ating unshielded twisted pair. Okay? So, meron tayong four pairs ng wires, yung orange, green, blue, and brown. Okay? Then, meron tayong thread dito. 
Okay. Now, marami nagtatanong sa akin, Sir, anong gamit ng thread na to? Nakaka-istorbo naman siya pag gumagawa kami ng cable. Ang tawag dito is a cable. Uh, actually, it's, 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 it's a fiber... Uh, It's a fiber thread. Okay, ang gamit dito pambalat nitong coating. Okay, so how do you do that? Hihilain mo siya. Okay. So pag hinihila mo siya, nabab- unti-unting nababalatan yung uh, cable mo. Okay, so um, I need a... Uh, kailangan ko na mas makapal pa dito para ma- mapulit natin siya. So let's uh, cut this more para mas mahaba yung thread. Okay, makita nyo siya. Uh, yeah, so cat five. So hanapin natin yung thread na yun. This one. Okay. Ang, ang gamit dito pang balat really. So kung hihilain ko to. Okay. Mababalatan yung cable natin. Okay. So yan ang gamit na. Okay. Yan thread na yan. Okay. So nakita nyo. Ayan na. Nabalatan siya. Okay. So really itong thread na to is okay, pang balat ng thread. Uh, pambalat ng thread, pambalat ng coat okay, ng ating uh, copper cable. Okay, so, yan ang gamit na. But, since gagawa tayo ng, uh, this is a video for uh, creating a straight and cross. So, putulin natin yung nagamit natin. Okay. Yan. Okay. So, balat lang ulit tayo. So this video is not sponsored by Ubiquity. <laughs> But really, um my favorite uh computer networking device whenever I'm doing uh ano tawag dito? Uh IT solutions for my clients is really Ubiquity. Okay? But syempre nag-start ako with Cisco kasi syempre the the, the pinaka basis really ng uh Uh, pag-aaral ng computer networking, ang gold standard is Cisco. Okay? But uh, for my IT solutions, I use Ubiquity. Okay? So, yan. This is a Cat5e cable. Okay? Now, let's go to Cat6. So, lagi natin dyan. Cat6, may kita ninyo, kung kukumpara natin, okay, let me just put this side by side, mas makapal ang Cat6 kaysa sa Cat5. Okay. Bakit? Kasi mas, mata- mas malaki rin yung diameter ng copper wires siya sa loob. Okay. And iba yung pagka-design ng Cat5 versus uh, Cat 5e versus Cat6. Okay. So, okay natin yan dyan. So, let's uh, balatan natin tong Cat6, uh, Cat6 cable. Okay. Using yung cable stripper natin. Okay. Ang pinaka number one na palatandaan nyo, Para malaman nyo if you're using a Cat5e or Cat6 cable is kung babalatan nyo yung uh, cable ninyo, may kita ninyo, meron tayong plastic strip dito. Okay. So pagpasensya nyo ng aking kamay at nangontrata ako, maraming kalyo yan. <laughs> okay. Kakahila at kakaterminate ng cables natin. Okay. So, itong plastic divider na to is what Um, really guides yung cables natin. Okay? Now, sa computer networking kasi, a, a very good type of cable is ganito. Okay? It's it's twisted okay? para walang electromagnetic interference or ang tinatawag is crosstalk. Okay? Kasi ang ang tendency, uh, pagbabalik tayo sa electronics 101, okay? bigyan, bigyan ko na kayo ng shortcut, pag nagpadala ka ng kuryente sa isang copper wire, Okay, pag nagpadala, pag nagpadaan ka ng kuryente dyan, it creates an electromagnetic field. Okay? And that electromagnetic field is very harmful for data signals going to other wires. Yung electromagnetic field na yon interferes with the data that's being sent on the other wire. Now, cable manufacturers have found out na kapag tinwist mo ang cable na ganito, it actually cancels out. Hindi naman totally. Okay? It cancels out yung electromagnetic interference ng bawat isa. Okay? Now, the reason may kita nyo dito sa Cat5e, okay, pag, pag binuksan natin yan, usually ang itsura nan sa loob, nakaganyan yan. Nakatwist din sila with each other. Okay? That is to prevent also yung crosstalk coming from all of the wires, from interfering with each other. 
Okay? Same din also rito sa Cat 6. Pero sa Cat 6, meron tayong specialized plastic. Okay? That guides all of our cables together. So, balik natin ito. Dito. Okay. Sensya na kayo at nakatutok sa akin ng aking camera. <laughs> okay. Yung plastic wire na yan is what guides all of your pairs together. Okay. This creates a more uniform way of uh, guiding yung cables nyo, yung pagka-twist niya inside your uh, cable itself. Okay. So, yan. Yan ang difference. Cat 5, walang plastic sa gitna. Cat 6, may plastic. Okay. So, now, the second type na kailangan yung, uh, second item na kailangan yung malaman whenever you're creating a straight and crossover cable is yung type ng RJ45 na gagamitin ninyo. Okay. So, let me just uh, get this here. Okay. Uh, okay, so kuha tayo ng RJ45 Okay, so this is an RJ45 Okay, ito yung dulo ng ating cable Okay, then we also have uh, Let me just get the other RJ45 Ito Okay Okay Now, itong RJ45 na to Okay there are two types of RJ45, actually. Meron tayong pang CAT5 and meron tayong pang CAT6. Yung CAT... Okay, so this is a CAT5E RJ45. Okay. May kita nyo, isang piraso lang siya. But yung pang CAT6 natin, okay, there are... Meron siyang dalawang parts. Meron tayong tinatawag na load bar and the RJ itself. Okay? Itong, ang gamit ng load bar is what will guide our cable going into the RJ45. Dito, sa ating uh, regular RJ45 for Cat5, makikita nyo, medyo uh, dinesign na nila yung load bar sa loob. Okay. Yan. Okay. Now, ano ang difference nitong dalawang to? An RJ45 for Cat5 and an RJ45 for Cat6. Okay. It all boils down doon sa taba ng wire natin. Okay, may kita ninyo, yung wires kasi ng Cat5e, medyo mas manipis. Yung copper wire niya dito, mas manipis ito. Okay, kumpara dun sa Cat6. Sa Cat6 natin, okay, kung titignan ninyo, mas mataba ito. Okay, mas mataba yung copper wire. May may kita nyo rin, uh, di hamak na mas mataba yung individual pairs dito kaysa doon sa ating Cat5. So, kunin natin ito orange. Okay. May kita nyo, di hamak na mas mataba okay. yung sa Cat6 versus sa Cat5. Okay. So, you need to be wary of this one. So, uh, ang, ang recommendation, ang standard recommendation, ay, alam nyo naman sa Pilipinas, hindi tayo masyadong sumusunod sa standard kung minsan. Okay. Sa structured cabling, you have to use a Cat5e RJ45 to terminate a Cat5e cable. Okay. And you need to use a Cat6 cable or a Cat6 RJ45. Ito pala. Okay? For you to be able to terminate a Cat5, uh, actually a Cat6 cable. Now, ano mangyayari kung ito terminate mo ang isang Cat5e or ang isang Cat6 using a Cat5e? Okay? Tendency is, hindi magkakasya yung cables mo kapag sumusuot sila sa loob. Okay? It's too thick. May kita ninyo, hindi na siya pumapasok kasi hindi siya kasya. Masyadong mataba itong individual wire natin. Okay? Para doon sa slot ng RJ45 for our Cat5e RJ45. Okay? So, hindi siya pupunta doon sa dulo. Okay? But, if we're going to use a Cat5e cable using and an RJ45 for Cat5, okay? Makita nyo, susot siya hanggang dulo. Okay, so you need to be aware of that, this one. Okay? Use a Cat5. Whenever you're terminating a Cat5e cable, use an RG45 made for Cat5e. If you're terminating an RG4, uh, if you're terminating a, a cable for uh, a Cat6, you need to use an RG45 for a Cat6. Okay, that's a very important uh, tip. 
na may bibigay ko sa inyo. So, let's terminate muna a CAT 5e cable. Okay. Na meron tayong dalawang types ng cables. Katulad na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, a straight and a cross. Okay. Now, ano ang difference ng dalawang yun? It all boils down dun sa color combination ninyo. Okay? On how you uh, design yung wires natin. Okay? Now, meron tayong tinatawag na T568A and T568B. So, ilalagay ko dito sa gilid. Okay? These are the two standards on how to terminate uh, your CAT5 and CAT6 cables. Okay? But majority, ang, ang majority na kailangan yung tandaan is really the standard, the, the B standard, the T568B standard. Okay? So, ang color combination ng T568B, and this is the most widely used, is ito. So, inayin nyo muna yung white, orange, orange. Okay? Then, we're going to use the white, green. Okay? Now, you have to untwist itong individual pairs. Okay? Okay. So, um, yung iba kasi, yung, ginag yung ginagawa nila, iniisa-isa nilang i-unbend ito, which is very uh, time-consuming. Ang, ang, ang technique dito is, hilain mo lang siya. Okay, pabaloktot. Then, hilain mo siya pa-straight. Okay, that will straighten out your cables. So, ulitin ulit natin yan para makita niya. Hilain niya siya pabaloktot. Then, hilain niya siya pa-straight. Okay. So, yung color combination natin. So, let's go back to the color combination. White, orange, orange, white, green. Then, we're going to use the blue. Okay. So, yeah. Blue. Okay. Now, nakikita nyo, hindi siya masyadong magdidikit-dikit. So, a technique that I usually use whenever I terminate cables, zinizigzag ko siyang I ganito para dumikit siya. Then, straighten it out. Okay. Yan. So, blue ulit. So, we're gonna use the blue one. Okay. So, white, orange, orange. White, green, blue. White, blue. Then, the green. Okay. Then, White, brown, and brown. Okay, so this is a T568B. Yeah. This is a T568B. Oops. I draw. Well. Oh, I need sha. Okay. So this is a T568B. Okay. So, yung color combination natin is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. Okay. Yan. Okay, may kita nyo yung fiber natin. <laughs> Medyo sagabal. Okay. So, you have an option to cut this one out. Okay. Or you have an option to leave it. Okay. Pero para madali nating hawakan ng ating cable... We're going to cut that one out. Okay. Yan. Tapon natin sa gilid. So, yan na ang color combination natin. Okay. This is a T568B. Okay. Color combination. Okay. So, ano yung next step natin? Okay. I usually hold dito from the edge of this color-coated uh, uh, itong coat natin, ng cable natin, I usually hold it like this. Then, puputulin ko siya dito. Okay. Now, you can use a gunting. Okay. Pwede kang gawin ng gunting. Meron din tayong wire cutter. Okay. So, ayan. So, gunting natin siya. Okay. So, make sure na straight yung paggunting natin. Then, it's now time to insert our RG45. Okay. Making sure na hindi nagulo yung iyong color combination. Okay. Now, medyo hindi pa to tama. Bakit? May ngipin kasi tayo dito. And ang, ang, ang tamang pag-terminate okay, is dapat itong coating ng cable mo, itong blue coat na yan, dapat nandito yan. 
Nakasagad yan sa dulo. So, we have to trim this one. Okay. Trim it more. Trim pa natin siya ng medyo mas malalim. Okay. Yan. Then, let's put it inside. Okay. Making sure na nakasuot talaga, nakasagad yung coating ng iyong Cat5 wire or Cat5 cable sa loob ng RJ mo. Okay? Yan. Okay? Now, bago mo siya i-crimp using a crimping tool, you have to make sure na nakikita mo lahat yung copper wires dyan sa harap. That would signal na really sumagad yung uh, individual wires mo hanggang doon sa tulo. Kasi ang mangyayari pag crimp natin to, itong, mga, itong ngipin, ng RG45 natin, kakagat yan sa loob ng wire natin and it will conduct. Okay, didikit dun sa loob ng copper wire ng individual pairs natin and that will be the one to conduct yung electrical signal nyo from the cable itself going to the RG45 and into this copper plates. Ito yung magkukontak sa loob ng computer ninyo or the switches or routers. Okay? So, kuha tayo ng crimping tool. Okay, nasa yung... Okay. Nakikita nyo. Okay. Then, squeeze nyo lang siya. Okay. Hindi kayo sigurado, do it another time. Okay. So, this is one end of our... So, this is one end of our straight-through cable. Okay. So, let's do the other one. Okay. Yung kabilang dulo. Okay. So, again... So, bibilisan ko na guys. Okay. Tagalan natin yung fiber. Then, I'm going to untwist this one. Okay, so white, orange, orange, white, green. Okay, so yan siya. Then, blue. White, blue. Then green. Okay. Then white, brown, and brown. Okay, so that's good. Okay. Double check natin color combination. Okay, that's good one. Then, kuntingin natin siya. Okay, so, tansyahan lang naman dito. Wala naman siyang actual na sukat. It really depends, okay? Or doon sa tansya mo on your cable. So, let me just grab another RG45 here. Okay, so sort natin siya. Oops, so lapit natin. Um, double check, double check. Okay, that's still good. Sort natin siya. So loob. Okay, double check. Sagad ba siya? Sagad, yes. Nakikita nyo, yung coating natin is kailangan pa natin iusog doon. Okay, yung coating ng cable. Ah, usog pa natin. Okay, so that's good. Okay. And, it's now time to crimp it. 
So, crimping, basically, itutulak niya yung ngipin ng RJ45 mo para sugatan niya yung individual wires sa loob. And that will contact yung copper wires mo with the copper wires ng RJ45. So, makikita niyo, umakit yung, ano, umakit yung ngipin. Okay. And another type ng locking mechanism ng pag-crimp. Yes, makikita niyo Naglalock din dito. Okay. Nilalock ng RJ45 mo yung cable. Yung coating ng cable mo para hindi siya basta-basta nahihila. So, this is a straight cable. May kita ninyo. Okay. Parehas yung color combination niya. Okay. Okay. So, ready na ang ating straight, okay, straight cable. Straight through cable. So, kuha tayo ng tester. Itong tester to medyo pipitsugin. Okay, yung mga tiga 500 pesos. But there are uh, cable testers that can go from uh, yung mga fluke testers uh, that is used for structured cabling. Really, uh, yung pang certification ng uh, structured cabling, it can go from around 100,000 to uh, above. Okay, so how do you know kung tama yung uh, paggawa mo na straight over cable? Dapat yung 1 to 8 na to. Okay, umiilaw on both sides. Okay, so makikita nyo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ibig sabihin, tama yung pag-contact natin dito and here. Okay, so this is a good straight through cable. Okay, so straight through yan. Okay, so let me just turn this off. Now, paano naman gumawa ng straight through cable for uh, CAT6? Okay. Sa so, CAT6, it's, it's still the same. Okay, same process, same color coding. Yun nga lang, uh, kailangan natin tanggalin tong plastic divider. Tsaka itong thread na to. Okay, so let's just remove this thread. Okay. So, tanggalin natin tong thread na to. Yan. And we also need to move or remove yung uh, plastic guide niya sa gitna. Okay. So, yan. Okay. So, natanggalin natin yung plastic guide. And now, it's time to color code it again. Okay. So, color code natin siya. So, still, same process. Okay. So, makawakan na rin natin na ganyan. Okay. So, white, orange, orange. Then, ano next? White, green. green. Okay. Then next comes the blue. Okay. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. Untwist natin yan. So blue. Okay. So ano yung technically natin? Okay. Balablock to rin yun yung yan. Okay. Then white, blue. Yan. So yeah, at least tikit-tikit na siya. Then, comes the green. So, katal na sinabi ko sa inyo, pagpasensya nyo ng aking kamay at nagsa-structured cabling. Ako, I have to finish around 300 of these cave types of cables. So, that's 600, 600 <laughs> times ako magkikrimp at magkaganito. Okay, so, it takes a toll sa yung skin. So, kailangan mo mag-moisturizer pagkatapos. <laughs> Okay. Para medyo lumambot, lambot ang ating kamay. Okay. So, yan. Medyo okay natin yung twist to. Balik na rin natin. Okay. Ah. Oh. Like that. Yan. Okay. So, double check. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. Yan. Okay. Now, cat 6 to. And kung maalala ninyo, iba ang RG45 ng cat 6. So, medyo iba, dito na mag-iiba ang style ng pag-crimp natin. Okay. So, isin natin yan. Okay. We have to 
trim this. Now, ang pag-trim naman nito is medyo pabangking. Okay? This is to make sure na madali natin siyang ilalagay sa ating load bar. Okay? Na makita nyo, yung load bar natin is medyo patusok sa dulo. Itong patusok na to, okay, dapat facing sa'yo yan lagi. Okay, so let's put this. Okay, pasok sa ating load bar. Yan. Okay. Then hilayin mo siya pa baba. Okay. It needs to be all the way through hanggang doon sa coating. Yan. Okay. So makita nyo, ginide niya yung cables natin really. Okay. Yung load bar. Yan ang trabaho ng load bar. Okay. So next, we need to cut yung dulo ng excess cables natin doon sa dulo ng load bar. Okay. So I need to trim this down more. Dapat ang gamit ko dito is cable cutter. Pero nawawala ang aking cable cutter. Dahil, ah, hindi ko alam kung saan na napunta. Cable cutter. Yan. Okay, so that's good. And now it's time to put it inside yung RJ45 natin. Okay, may kita ninyo, it will slide through hanggang dun sa dulo. Okay, so you have to really push. Okay. You have to really push the cable Okay, hanggang dulo pa rin And makita nyo, sumuot na yung load bar natin Okay, sa loob That will lock Okay, yung cables nyo And guide it properly sa loob ng RJ45 Okay, so double checking Medyo na okay, nakikita natin lahat ng copper wires And naka-align sila sa lahat ng ipin ng RJ45 natin and the, the cable coating is way all the way inside para makagat ng locking mechanism natin dito. So, we're going to use yung crimper pa rin natin. Crimp this one. And now, we have a Cat 6. Okay. Terminated cable. Okay. So, I'm going to do the other side. Okay. Okay, mabilisan na to. Kasi medyo 30 minutes na ang ating video. Okay, but hopefully, marami kayo natutunan. So, gagawin ko siguro ng part 2, yung ating crossover cable. Okay. So, yan. Okay, so, tanggalin din natin itong ating thread. Yan. Okay, straight, push, push, okay, then, kung natin yung white green, okay, yan, okay, tabi muna natin yung green natin, kunin natin yung blue, Okay. Yan. Then green. Then white, brown, and brown. Okay, so that's good. Double check natin. White, orange, orange, white, green. Blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. Okay. So, snip. Pwede so, tayo na extra load bar. Okay. And RJ45. Or cat 6.
Okay. Yan na siya. Okay. So, guide natin ang ating load bar going inside our copper wires all the way down. Okay. Then, kupitin natin siya. Okay, so that's good. Then, sort natin siya inside. Okay. Okay, then sort natin siya inside. Okay, then tulak natin siya. Yan. Maglalak naman siya sa loob eh. Okay. Okay, double check natin. Do we see yung copper, individual copper wires na naka-align sa ngipin? Okay, that's good. Okay, yung coating should be all the way inside para mag-lock dito whenever we crimp this. Okay, then crimp na natin siya. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. Cat 6 straight looks good. Kunitin yung kabilang side. Okay, so that's a, a, a good, properly terminated wire. Yung iba kasi, nagto-terminate na kaagad, nagkikrimp na kaagad sila itong cup, uh, coating na to, nasa labas. That's uh, that's incorrect. Kasi madali na, pag, nan, pag nangyari ng ganun, madali na mahatak tong loob ng uh, RG45 natin. Madali matanggal yung individual wires natin from the teeth okay, ng ating RJ. So, last thing we need to do is we need to test. So, natin tong isa sa kabila. Okay. And this one. May ilaw ba lahat ng ating individual pairs? Okay. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, that's good. So, this is now a properly terminated ayaw matanggal. <laughs> this is now a properly terminated CAT6 cable. Okay. This is a straight through CAT6 cable and this is a straight through CAT5 cable. Okay. So, so, ito yung CAT5 natin kanina on our previous video. Okay. May kita nyo, this is a straight through cable. May kita nyo yung color combination nyo magkabilang dulo is the same. Now, how do we create a cross? Cross is basically, babalik ta rin natin yung kabilang dulo. Okay? This one is still T568B, pero yung isa will now become a T568A. Basically, ang difference lang naman ng T568A and T568B is kung paano ka nag-start ng iyong color combination. Sa T568A, ang start natin is with orange. Sa T568B, ang gagamitin natin is uh, green. Okay? So, to create uh, a crossover cable, CAT5. Okay. Gamitin na natin itong dati natin krenim. Okay. So, putulin natin to. Okay. Yan. Putulin natin yan. Okay. So, strip ulit natin siya. Okay. That's good. Okay. Lapit natin ang ating camera. Okay. So, guntingin na natin to para hindi siya sa gabal habang nagta-terminate tayo. Yeah. Okay. So, at T568A, okay, ito ang uunahin natin, yung green pair. Okay. Yan. So, to create a cross, yes, unahin natin yung green pair. Yan. Okay. Basically, ang difference lang naman ng T568-T568B, nagpalit yung position ng green and orange mo. Okay? Blue and brown still stays the same. Okay? So, for T568A, ito siya. Okay? Yan. So, blue. Okay. Okay. Yan. Okay. 
and green uh, orange pala. sorry and brown okay white brown and brown yeah okay so that's good Again, natin tama ba ang color combination okay that's right so cut na natin to straight kasi cat 5 siya okay then we're going to get the cat 5 ERJ45 patay sa ating plastic okay yan Okay, so shoot natin to. Making sure na yung coating natin is all the way through. Okay. And yung copper wires natin, are they properly aligned? So hindi ko makita. Okay, doon sa ating ipin ng ating RJ45. So that's good. Okay. Tumapat naman yung mga individual wires natin sa ngipin. And it's now time to crimp this one. Yan. Okay. Ayun, lumabas. So now, this is a crossover cable. Okay. Yung isang side niya is T568A. Okay. Nauna yung orange. And this one, uh, uh, I mean, this is a T568B. Okay, yung isang side. And this is a T568A. Okay. Nakikita nyo, basically, ang difference lang naman nila, nag-switch yung position ng orange mo at saka ng green. Okay. Um, I'll be creating a video later, siguro, uh, to explain why this is. Okay. But this is basically how you terminate the crossover cable. So, pagdating natin sa pag-testing, Okay, so let's put this here. Yeah. Makita ninyo, iila 1, 3, 2, and 6. Kasi nagpalit yung ating green and wire pairs. 1, 3, okay, 2, and 6. 7, 8. Okay, 1, 3, 2, 6. 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, and 6. And that is a good cable. Okay, so this is a good crossover cable. Now, crossover for Cat 6 is basically the same. Uh, ganun din ang pag, uh, color combination mo. One side will be T568P, the other side is T568A. Okay, same method din yung pag-crimp. Okay. So, saan ba ginagamit ang crossover and straight? Kung meron kang, uh, whenever you need to connect Two similar devices together, for example, uh, a switch to switch connection. Ah, kwa tayo ng sample dito. Tabi ko lang tong mga equipment natin. So, sa mga ginagamit ang straight, sa mga ginagamit ang cross. Okay. So, whenever you're trying to connect a switch going to a router, okay, ang gagamitin mo is a straight cable. Okay. But if you need to connect a switch to a switch, okay, you need to use a crossover cable. Basically, uh, to simplify things, uh, kailan, ka gagamit, kailan ka gagamit ng straight? You use a straight, over cable, uh, straight through cable kapag you have to connect two different devices. Okay. So for example, Itong ating router and a switch. Okay? So, ang gagawitin mong kable is a straight. Pero, whenever you need to connect two similar devices together, okay? for example, a switch to a switch, ang kailangan mong gamitin is a crossover cable. Okay? So, yan ang gamit ng dalawang types ng cable na to. Okay? So, sa pag ginagamit ang straight through cable, whenever you need to connect a... Uh, computer to a switch. 
Okay? Need to connect a computer to a switch. Um, ano pa? Um, you need to connect a Wi-Fi. Okay? Wi-Fi units to a switch, you need to con use a straight-through cable. Okay? So, computer computer to switch, com um, access point to switch, router to switch, or... Um, Ano pa ba? <laughs> Laptop to a switch. Okay. Ang gagamitin mong cable is a straight through cable. Okay. Pero if you need to connect a switch to a switch, a router, a router, a PC to a PC. Yes, that's possible. A PC to a PC. Okay. Or uh, you need to use a crossover cable na. Okay. So... That's it, guys. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Medyo napahaba siya. Kasi ay, 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 medyo binagalan ko yung pag-crimp. Okay? And uh, on the next video naman, ituturo ko naman sa inyo paano mag-terminate ng straight-through and crossover cable using keystone jacks naman. Okay? Keystone jacks, ito yung uh, pinagkakabitan ng RJ45. Okay? So that's it fellow IT engineers and I'll see you on the next video. So that's it guys, that's how you create a straight through and crossover cable uh, using RG45s and CAT5 and CAT6. Okay? So tinuro ko dito is ano yung difference ng CAT5 and CAT6 uh, cables? Okay? Ano yung difference ng RG45 ng CAT5E uh, at saka RG45 ng CAT6? Okay? And yung usage ng dalawang to. Okay? Um, that's it for this video. Um, hopefully, you enjoy it. Uh, this is Lou Beltran again. Make sure you subscribe to uh, my YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel. I mean, okay? I'm going to be leaving the link down below. Okay? It's Lou, Be Lou Beltran, the IT Veteran. Also, follow me on Facebook. Okay? It's Lou Beltran, the IT Veteran. Also, make sure you like and uh, follow my page there. Um, basically, on YouTube and Facebook, um, I will be releasing trainings like this one. Uh, para matulungan ko kayo okay, as fellow IT engineers. And make sure you also go to my website, lubeltran.com and grab my ebook, uh, um, Interview and <laughs> Interview uh, Tips and Tricks and Salary Negotiation for IT Professional. Yun yung pangalan ng aking ebook. Okay, na may mental block na ako sa haba ng video na to. Um, it basically describes there ano yung mga tips and tricks um, in terms of uh, the interview process and how to negotiate your salary once ikaw na yung final candidate for the IT position. So again, that's it fellow IT engineers and I'll see you in the next video.